Hi guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is our last topic for analytic geometry. So our topic will be polar coordinates. So if you are not yet a subscriber of this channel, please do click the subscribe button and the notification bell for more updates. So i-share nyo lang guys yung mga links natin para mas marami pa tayong matulungan. So for this topic, we have polar coordinates. So, a polar coordinate is represented by a point here, R theta. So, the coordinates are polar. So, this is R theta. So, this is point X, Y. So, in polar coordinates, it is represented as R theta, wherein R is what you call the radius vector. It is the distance from the point to a fixed origin called the pole. So, this is the pole. And theta is the angle the radius vector makes with a fixed axis called the polar axis. So the relationship between theta and r are represented by our trigonometric function. So this is distance y, so this is x. So based on this triangle, you can say that x is equal to you have r cosine of theta. So, cosine of theta is equal to your adjacent all over your hypotenuse r. So, this is distance r. So, your y is equal to r sine theta. Then, the relationship between your radius vector, your x and your y is using the Pythagorean theorem. So, you have r squared equals so x squared plus y squared. So, r equals so the square root of x squared plus y squared. Now, let's try solving a sample problem. So in this problem, we have find the polar equation of the circle if its center is at 4, 0 and radius is 4. So we have a circle here. Center niya hk is 4, 0. Then ang radius niya is 4. So you have the general equation for a circle that is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared and we just substitute the value so you have x minus so h is 4 so squared plus y minus so k is 0 so squared equals so r is 4 so 4 squared and we expand this, we have x squared minus, we have 8x plus 16 plus y squared equals, we have here 16. And we have common value of 16, so we can cancel that out. So subtract 16 to both sides. So you have x squared minus 8x plus y squared equals 0. So you have here x squared plus y squared minus 8x equals 0. So our goal is to convert this to polar equation. So as we recall, you have here x is equal to r cosine of theta and y is equal to r sine theta. So you have r cosine theta, so squared plus y natin is r sine theta, so squared minus 8 times, so ang x natin is r cosine theta. So this is equal 0. So we just simplify this, we can find its polar equation. You have r squared cosine squared theta plus r squared sine squared theta. So that is minus 8 we have r cosine theta equal 0. So here, we have common of r squared. Or rather, we can divide both sides by r. We have here cosine squared theta. We have times r plus we have r sine squared theta minus 8 cosine theta equal 0. So we divided r to both sides. Now we have here, so r is common here. So we have r times, you have cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta. 
ang minus, you have 8 cosine theta equal 0. So you have this identity. So this is equal to 1. So using your trigonometric identities, or this is the Pythagorean identity. So you have R minus 8 cosine of theta equals 0. So this is our polar equation of the circle. So that's it guys. So ganun lang kadali yung polar coordinates. You just input those relationships for your triangle and you simplify it using algebra and you use some trigonometric identities. Yung mga basic lang na trigonometric identities. So this is our last topic for analytic geometry. In our next topic, we are going to deal with calculus now. So all of this yung diniscuss natin from algebra to analytic geometry we're going to use that in our calculus so stay tuned lang kayo guys for our next topics so see you and thank you for subscribing for this channel so keep on sharing guys para mas marami pa tayong matulungang aspiring mechanical engineering students god bless